Welcome to Test, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes! Yes! A thousand subscribers! Yes! <laughs> Man! Man! Okay. Anybody who has been here with me from the very beginning, I've asked like so many people to subscribe. I was asking uh, Uber riders. So for all those Uber riders out there that subscribed, very much appreciated. Uh, you know, I guess I was cool enough for you to subscribe and support. To all of my people in the Philippines, Magandang Umaga. Uh, let me see if I can get this right for this video. Uh, so I have uh, Messiah Akong, Makita Kang Muli. Ha! I got it. Yes. Didn't have to look at the paper. Bam. Thank you. Anybody from France, say me fait plaisir de te voir, mon ami. Uh, merci beaucoup. Uh, bonjour. Uh, man, anybody from Norway, hello. Um, uh, God Morgan. Tox for subscribing. Uh, you know, Shukran. Uh, you know, man, what else? Madasima Danfo. Uh, Edupe Oremi. You know, anything else I could think of. Uh, man, muchas gracias, uh, uh mis amigos. Uh, bienvenidos. Um, man, I don't know. If there's anybody out there that subscribed to me, uh, and I forgot your language, uh, you know, uh, let me see. Uh, Danyavad, uh, Danyavad Sati Haru. Uh, appreciate it very much. Uh, Salamat, a king magai kai bagan. Uh, thanks so much, everybody. Um, I'm super happy, man, uh, because it, like I said, anybody who's been there with me from the very beginning, it took me forever, it feels like, almost five months to get to this point. Uh, maybe that's better than some people, uh, but, you know, as everybody knows, when I first initially started my YouTube, uh, anybody who was there at the very beginning, uh, they know that I did not know anything. Um, I didn't know what type of camera to get. Um, I didn't know, uh, you know, how to even start creating videos. So everything you see on the screen here, um, I didn't know how to do any of that stuff. I never heard of any type of broadcasting software. Um, I, I just literally started from complete zero uh, and had to learn and, and think and write down stuff. And like literally I have I have all these papers. So all of these papers literally have languages. And it, let me see if I can get it right. Uh, and it has thoughts and it has like basically the creations of like all of my videos and all kinds of everything. Anything I've thought of questions wise uh, as far as like, you know, can I do this? Can I do that? Uh, and then I've also gotten people who have given me comments and feedback and suggestions and even the thumbs down. You know, the thumbs down stuff also has gotten me to where I'm at right now. Uh, so I'm, I'm currently sitting at 1,020 subscribers. Uh, and I just had a video yesterday uh, that is about to hit. Let me see if it's hit yet. It's about to hit 11,000 views. And before that, uh, well, no, 10,835, but that's a lot to me. Uh, before this video, um, my best video was 6,279 views. And it took me 48 days to get there. And so this one took like 10 hours uh, to get to 10,000 views. Um, so... Um, it was crazy. Yesterday was like an insane day. Uh, I was running through the house, uh, just just screaming. Uh, and my my, my grand my grandparents was like, what, "What's wrong with you?" And I'm like, "Man, I mean, <laughs> it's this current generation stuff that's going on." Uh, so yes, I've talked a lot. So I'm probably gonna have somebody get on there and say too much talk, like I've seen in the past. But uh, it's just it's insane, man. Like it's it's just like all of my hard work to this point. Um, has finally paid off uh, and uh, I'm just very very happy uh, but I do have a game for you guys uh, and it is game let me see what what round is it I need to redo the thumbnail uh, it is the first game uh, from the eighth I believe it's the eighth round yes the eighth round uh, because they're currently right now playing to see um, who let me do my eye real quick man it's foggy uh, they are currently right now playing uh, to see who um, wins the, uh, the the Opera Euro. Uh, and so uh, right now uh, they are actually tied. So whoever can win uh, whoever can win this game, uh, this this match uh, is gonna be the winner. Uh, they're gonna be basically one and a half to a half uh, because since they did tie they pretty much each got half a point uh, for that. 
so it, it could come down to this or they can go into a, a knockout round um but yeah it's a pretty short game so uh it kind of you know covers up my my long talk but you know i had to get on uh and i had to just be you know extra happy uh and i just had to show everybody my appreciation very much for you know subscribing hopefully everybody does enjoy my content that i make <clears throat> um I, I do the best i can uh but like i always say if there's anything else uh that you think i can add to the video uh that might make it uh make make it better uh feel free to let me know of course i have my donations down here um you know if you ever want to contribute to my channel uh the paypal information is down in the description always uh and then there's also cash app venmo uh any other way you can think of let me know and i'll i'll try to get a hold of it um but yes all right if you guys are ready uh let's go ahead and take a look see what we have for this game let me get this volume turned up here bizam all right so we got e4 c5 knight to f3 knight to c6 we got bishop to b5 so we have the rosalimo sicilian rosalimo um and it's pretty pretty popular um there's a lot of different continuations at this point um you know there's probably some d6s there's some g6s e6s maybe some knight to f6s uh even a6 uh queen to c7s uh, so there's a lot of different options that you have especially like when you first start the game out there's going to be a lot of different options that you can you know pursue uh, so you pretty much do whatever you want within reason um but so we have e6 uh pretty pretty standard line um you know what you're wanting to do is make sure uh that you know you run up into some resistance if you do push d4 trying to push d5 uh, so, you know, you can't just sit there and just continuously push pawns. Uh, so we do see castles by white, uh, knight g to e7 uh, for black. We see c3. And this is a multi-purposeful move because not only are you trying to attack in the center, you know, with the biggest oomph, uh, you know, after, you know, pawn takes, you can get your ideal pawn center. Kind of the same concept that black is doing, you know, trying to trade off one of these center pawns for a wing pawn. Uh, but also, too, when you're kind of... You know, getting attacked by a6, uh, you're wanting to try to make sure that you have, you know, some luft for your bishop uh, to be able to, you know, drop back and not be taken. Uh, so we do see a6. Bishop comes back to a4. We see b5 and then we see bishop to c2. Like I was saying before, you know, now you're having this bishop influence this diagonal. So it's going to make it slightly harder for black to actually castle king side because you do have this... Uh, you know this bullet shooting over to the h7 square so we see bishop to b7 so rook comes to e1 uh we see rook to c8 uh, we see a4 and we see b4 and as you can see the thing that i don't really fully agree with at the moment um is magnus carlson you know kind of keeping his king in the center uh and uh you know the position is kind of opening up a little bit uh, so i just kind of feel like he's doing too much play on the queen side um he needs to kind of be more focused on where he's going to put his king um because you know, there are certain openings uh, that are, uh, let's say, like the Carol Khan. Um, you know, it's a little bit better in the Carol Khan for you to keep your king in the center uh, or like a Berlin or something like that. But the Sicilian is is a somewhat open, uh, you know, opening. Uh, so you don't really too much want to have your king in the center of the board. And you definitely want to make sure that when you're, uh, excuse me, you definitely want to make sure that when you're uh, when you're playing your games that you don't start attacking prematurely. Um, so this is a good i think this is a good video um you know to kind of show uh you know what happens when you start to to you know attack prematurely so we see d4 uh, pawn takes d4 pawn takes d4 we have knight to g6 which is the novelty of the game um it's not it's not too bad of a move i mean black is you know it looks like they're pretty much just going to be developing and then they're going to be getting castled and stuff and this knight here is doing good because once you do maybe press uh push e5 you know, this bishop is kind of, uh, this knight is kind of blunting, you know, the effectiveness of the bishop. So it seems pretty good so far. Uh, so we have knight b to d2. Uh, we got knight to a5. Uh, and we have g3. Now, something I mentioned in the game previously, uh, you know, basically up to this point, um, you have black basically, you know, adhering to the principles of chess, which is like, don't move pieces multiple times. <laughs> Uh, and so after a4, b4, you have d4, pawn takes, pawn takes, you have knight to g6. Knight to, d knight to g6 kind of has to come because the bishop doesn't really have a way to develop. Um, you can you can always do this and do this and then castle that way, uh, which is not really too bad of an issue. Um, knight to g6 will do you know something similar as well. Um, knight b to d2, knight to a5. Like I said, knight to a5, I don't really agree with, um, you know, 
I can only really critique the world champion so much because I mean, at the end of the day, he is the world champion. But you know, he sometimes he uh, like in these past couple of games that I've done, um, he is kind of playing um, a little bit uh, sideways. Um, I, I'll at least say for myself. Um, and really, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter who you are. You shouldn't be able to get away with that. And so. Uh, basically, Wesley So is looking to try to punish this. Um, so knight to a5, uh, you know, moving that knight a second time, putting it on the rim. So it's kind of like there's like everything wrong with that move almost. Uh, so the bishop comes to e7, and after h4, um, we see a uh, we see an explosion on the board um, or on the the computer screen, you know, because we we are playing this online. So um, we see bishop takes h4. Now. Bishop takes h4 is very, very premature uh, because, like I said, you've already ignored the principles and then you stuck this knight on the rim, which it's not really doing anything over there. Uh, and you haven't castled. You have your king in the center of the board. So it's just it's just really ill timed. So even not being the level that these guys are. Um, and I mean, I'm not shabby, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty, I'm, I'm pretty legitimately high rated player. Um, but to not be like super GM world class level, you can still kind of look at the situation and just say, nah, that, that shouldn't fly. You know, you shouldn't be able to attack with your king in the center uh, because you haven't prepared the attack. Um, so that is one of the things that you guys need to make sure that you're paying attention to when you are attacking somebody, that you're not leaving yourself in a vulnerable position and that you are safe. So after pawn takes uh, h4, knight takes h4, knight takes h4, queen takes h4. I want, to, uh, I want you guys to go ahead and pause the video real quick uh, and see if you can see what the proper defense is. Uh, there is a... I feel like there's a natural move in the position uh, when you can really, really go seriously wrong. Uh, and then there is a another move that defends beautifully, but it might be somewhat hard to see. So if you want to go ahead and pause the video real quick and see if you can see what the proper defense is and what the unproper defense is, I'll go over both of those real quick. So go ahead and take a look. Okay, cool. So uh, the proper defense um, is going to be rook to e3. And it is not the most natural move in the position. The most natural move in the position I think a lot of people would play is going to be knight to f3. Uh, and the reason why knight to f3 seems like it just makes so much sense is because not only are you attacking the queen, but you're also liberating your bishops uh, and your queen, you know, to be able to kind of come out. So it seems like you're accomplishing so much by the move, but it is actually a very bad inaccuracy. Um, and it gives black... Uh, almost a winning advantage and because queen to g4 sidesteps the attack uh, and then after having to move your king uh, you know to h2 um, you're going to be looking at rook takes c2 uh, and this is going to be a really really horrible uh, deflection uh, because now the queen is the only so now the queen is overloaded the queen is the only piece that's holding on to this knight uh, and so you've just gotten a piece taken so you have a, I mean, you basically, I mean, if you're going to go ahead and take the rook, you're going to be losing that, uh, that knight. And as you can see, uh, you are down two entire pawns. Uh, and, uh, you know, your king is really just kind of over here, just, you know, yelling at the other side of the board, like, Hey, can you guys help me a little bit? Um, so that's not really where you want to be. Um, so rook to E3, uh, was a really nice, uh, find for Wesley. So, uh, and after F5, like I said, you know, this king is in the center of the board, man. Like, you, you can't attack and be... I mean, this is like one of probably the worst... Uh, one of the worst moves that you can make in the position is like, you know, trying to open up the position. Now, I will say this at this point. You can't open the position at... You, you can't take on e5 because you're going to be looking at checkmate here. Uh, so that's something that, you know, of course, Wesley Sell's not going to drop mate in one. Um, but like I said, you are putting yourself in a really bad spot. Um, as black uh, opening the board with you know not only your knight on the rim here uh, but your king still stuck in the center of the board so rook comes to g3 and then now you're forced to castle um, after knight to f3 which is the best time uh, you know for that to come out um, you see queen to h5 after knight to e5 you do see a queen trade on d1 and then bishop takes d1 uh, and you see d6 um, but as you see knight comes to d3 pawn takes on e4 knight takes b4 <coughs> you um you're up, uh, you're up an entire piece, um, and you are down, uh, you are down uh, two pawns. But like I said, you do have a piece for you know pretty good compensation for that. So, you know, after knight comes to c4, you see a5, uh, and you see d5, bishop to g4. You know, of course, threatening that uh, you know that fork uh, with the uh, 
the king of the bit and the king of the rook. Uh, so the rook comes to defend, but unfortunately, this is going to be dropping the rook completely. Um, after bishop to g5, rook comes to g6, uh, and then rook, uh, bishop to h5, uh, the, the rook is completely trapped. Uh, and so you're not really worrying about this anymore. You're going to be winning the entire rook. So the rook takes on g5, the rook takes on g5, and it's in this position uh, that Magnus Carlsen does resign. Um, <clears throat> you can still kind of keep, <clears throat> excuse me. You can still kind of keep trying to play on, but you know you just have too many problems, um, especially uh, this move here, uh, rook to c1. Um, there's really not a lot you can do about the forcing of the trade of the rooks, uh, and then also this bishop can be coming back here, um, and there's not really a good way to defend this pawn, uh, and so you just really kind of have too many issues uh, going on here, and so. You know, you all, so yeah, you just, I mean, you just kind of have to resign that game. So um, that's what Magnus Carlsen did. So that gave him the first, uh, that gave Wesley So the first win of the second uh, round. And uh, they did draw the second game. Uh, so um, that is it for the moment. Um, and this, uh, this is the only video I plan on making today. Also, I almost forgot, uh, I want to give a shout out to JD. Um, I think he's a newcomer to the channel. Um, but he asked me uh, to shoot him a shout out. Now, <clears throat> what I did do to anybody that I noticed uh, that subscribed to me up to this thousand, um, I did uh, subscribe back. Uh, and then that way, um, in, in my mind, you guys are going to hold priority. Uh, you guys are going to basically have seniority over pretty much anybody else that comes to my channel in the future. Um, so, you know, I will take your game suggestions uh, and, uh, pretty much like, you know, your suggestions on anything, um, before I take suggestions from the masses. Uh, so you guys, like I said, you guys will be, you know, my, uh, my people, you know, uh, Steve, you know, um, you know, my air, my air supply, not a cool dude, you know, everybody that pretty much has been on my channel since the beginning, um, you guys will always have, uh, you know, if I'm seeing a lot of people asking for a certain game and I see you guys asking for a game, I'm going to do your game before I try to do their game. Um, uh, just because I appreciate very much, you know, the support that you guys gave me from the beginning uh, to get me to the thousand. Uh, and, uh, you know, especially the help that you guys give me, uh, you know, with the, uh, you know, with the translation. Uh, I know I have a lot of, you know, uh, people that speak Tagalog fluently out there that, that, that help, you know, kind of go through comments uh, and give people responses that I can't do because I don't speak Tagalog all the way. Uh, so I appreciate that stuff, guys. So, you know, um, whatever you guys need from me, uh, I'm going to do my best to try to get that stuff done for you. Uh, and uh, I will see you guys uh, in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow. I'm healing. My eye is definitely getting better, um, but I'm still having some trouble uh, as far as focusing goes. Uh, so I don't want to overdo it today. Um, and I do want to get some chest study in because I do want to try to get better. Um, I was telling somebody earlier that, you know, I, um, I I look forward to playing uh, because I'm I'm getting pretty highly rated on Chess.com. Um, I almost broke 2,200, which is in the top like 9,000 uh, players in the world. Um, so you know, I anticipate at some point I'll be able to play, you know, Magnus, and I'll be able to play Wesley So, and I'll be able to play these top, you know, these top players. Uh, hopefully, in these next couple of months and stuff like that. You know, when I achieve my titles and things like that. So. Uh, we will see how that goes. Um, it's, it's a considerably longer video than normal, uh, but you know, I had a lot to talk about, uh, and, uh, other videos won't be so long. Um, uh, but I appreciate everybody very much. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. All right.